Warriors, we're going live. This will be quick. Gonna grill some pork chops. Let me just get this set up. What you see here is my mill scale metalworks Yakatori grill. It's charcoal or wood for the fuel. And instead of a Santa Maria where you might wind up and down the grates, if you want to control temperature, what you do here is move it up and down the tower. So if I want to get a nice sear, like I'm going to do today, I'll put this guy low. This one up here is kind of my cool zone, but still warm. Here's the pork loin chops. So we got a center cut pork loin for $11. I can't remember how many pounds it was, but it made about 20 pork chops of this size. And I like to use some Old Bay seasoning. Really good stuff. So we'll go ahead and get these down on the grill. The nice thing about the crosshatch uh, grill grate is you don't have to turn them to get crosshatch hatches if that's what you're after. I don't really care. It doesn't add to the flavor, so not a big deal for me, but something to think about. So we'll get those guys down. Bring you in a little bit. There we go. Not a ton of charcoal down there, just enough. I didn't want these to cook in like five minutes. It wouldn't make much of a live stream, but if I weren't doing a video, I'd probably have a lot more heat. Get them done quick. Nice, Kenny. I really like this grill. I've had a lot of fun with it this summer. So this is all steel. Inside of it, uh, it has refractory brick. So it's insulated. And if, if you wanted to take these grates off, you could do, you know, it's not a, it's not a true yakitori, but certainly you could do skewers and just lay them flat, you know, across here. But I've, I've cooked everything you can think of on here, including a slab of ribs. So instead of smoking them, you grill them and incredible flavor if you're using wood. Right down here, there's two air intakes. So if you want more oxygen, you lift up. Less, you can put them down. I'll go ahead and crank this up a little bit here. Kenny says, going to be making some deer loin one night this week for supper. Going to get the bay seasoning and give it a try. Yeah, this old bay seasoning, it's like an all purpose. Uh, I, I keep this in the house as well as uh, Lowry's all purpose seasoning. But I think this became famous for the uh, crab and shrimp, but it goes great on chicken, pork. Let's see if I can see what's in the ingredients. Celery salt spices including red pepper and black pepper and paprika 
always have some of this on hand. Whoa, is that Kent, Daddy Dutch? Man, it's been a long time, brother. Hope you're doing well. One of these days, maybe we'll have a shot of Rumplemans together. So I just got my little uh, yakitori grill with some charcoal. Couple pork loin chops seasoned with Old Bay. For those of you just turning tuning in, instead of a, uh, uh, can't think of it right now, but here's how you adjust. More heat, you pull it down. Less heat. You can put it all the way up, all right? So I'm going two levels above the coals. There's not a whole lot of coals in there. I'm going a little bit slower just to make the uh, live stream last a little bit longer. And then over here, this is kind of my cool zone. There is charcoal underneath, but I've got it raised up. So. Some of these smaller cuts will get done first. I can move them over here, keep them warm. And this thing has been a blast to cook with, I gotta tell you. Something I'm proud to own. Worked really hard to save up for this. Uh, nothing on my channel right now that you see me cooking with is sponsored. Everything I have, I paid for. And that's just how I decided to do it. A lot of times when these companies reach out to you, it just uh, makes it feel like a job. They ship a giant box of stuff on a, on a pallet. You gotta tear it all down, build it. Just, it's not fun. I have a, I have a job. Uh, I put in a lot of hours a week. The last thing I want to do is have another job. So I'm just trying to keep it fun for me and hopefully fun for you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, manual Santa Maria grill. So let's bring it in a little bit closer. Maybe another minute. Generally speaking, if I'm doing a pork loin, I like to grill it to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It does tend to dry out uh, if you go too much higher than that. Nice fat cap layer here that I do want to uh, make sure I render a lot of flavor there, which is another reason I'm cooking a little bit lower and slower. Hello, so this is a the company who makes it is Mill Scale Metalworks. They call it their Yakitori Grill. It's a beautifully made uh, piece of equipment. I'll try and give you a better angle. So it uses uh, charcoal or wood. And 
And as Daddy Dutch, who's in the comments, said, it's a manual Santa Maria. So you're not rolling a grill grate up and down. Um, what you do is there's a little tool here. You want to go real hot and fast, you put it down on the bottom. Things get out of hand or you want to go a little bit slower, you can move it all the way up to the top. Or you can remove it completely, put some skewers down. So it's a lot of fun. There's no lid to put on top. It's you and the fire. And so um, it's the hardest form of cooking, but I like to live on the edge. So uh, it makes it fun and you have to learn how to deal with, with temperatures, you know? There's no dials, there's no gauges. Yes, very simple. And Daddy Dutch is building a campfire Santa Maria grill. Wow, with a 30 by 30 grate. Dude, that's perfect. Good size. Go ahead, we'll flip these. Nice color. All right, Kylene Drake. That grill is too small. Hello, nice seeing you. I could use some tips on making pork chops tender. Um, so this grill is small. This is not what you would use to feed an army. But uh, there's only two of us here and it's perfect for us on the weekdays. When when we're not uh, cooking for others. And as far as pork goes, like pork chops, you don't want to cook them much past 140 degrees Fahrenheit. 145 is the safe temperature. If you take them off at 140, there'll be a little bit of a carryover. Uh, and there's an old saying, 145 and your pork will thrive. Uh, that's the key is the cooking temperature. Another thing you can do, I buy a, a whole pork loin and I cut my own chops. You can cut them you can cut them thicker, which will take them a little bit longer to cook, but those tend to uh, be juicier. Seasoned them with Old Bay seasoning. Good stuff. grill the more charcoal needed I think this is a perfect size charcoal is so quick once hot that second round of meat is quick yeah for sure I have very little charcoal in here maybe half of a uh, chimney and just spread out over a thin layer But don't forget, with this grill, if you're cooking a lot of food, you can layer these. All right, comes with four grates. So you might have some uh, meat down here. You could have your veggies up on top. 
or something else. In here, I've probably got, I don't know, I mean, it's a half of a chimney full of charcoal. Uh, this is lump charcoal. I, I don't know, maybe a pound. Tom's Food Factory. Good to see you, brother. Devin, thank you. I love this thing, too. Um with live streams, moving around the phone is sometimes not a good idea, but let's see. There's the air intakes that you can adjust up or down. This was very expensive. This is not something, uh, I don't think most people would buy this. Unless you're really into uh, cooking outside like me, this is something that'll, that'll last longer than I will. Uh, so somebody after I pass will get it. No, not over 5,000. Um, I would say, I think it's in the, who knows with uh, the way prices have been going up and up and up. When I bought it, I got the grill and the cart. Those are two separate items. Um, I'm going to say under, just under $2,000 shipped about a year ago. Who knows what it is now, though. Yeah, man. Hey, if you're doing competition uh, steak cooking, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. This is one of a kind. It's one of a kind. So, I'm not using uh, any temperature probes today. I pretty much know these are done. They're pretty thin the way I cut them. So we're going to take these off. I'll let them cool down for a minute. I'll cut into one. Kylene, I'm on uh, right now a meat-only diet. Um, no veggies. This is not my long-term diet. It's just something I'm trying out here. But uh, that combined with exercise, I've lost over 30 pounds since uh, mid-May of this year. So I'm going to keep that going for a little bit. I'm trying to lose 50 pounds. Get back to my fighting weight. There's the chops. We'll, we'll try one here in a second. Yeah, kind of like keto. Uh, it's called the carnivore diet. I think made famous by Joe Rogan uh, and some others. Um, so I've been doing that for a while. Yeah, meat only is expensive. So the best I can do is buy bulk. Like those pork chops, we bought a giant pork loin, cut it into chops, and then you freeze a bunch of them. Uh, 
Yep, so you need veggies, love your meats. You could do Atkins diet, all meat, but my body won't tolerate it. Yeah, I had a scare uh, about three or four years ago I did keto and I lost a ton of weight, ended up in the emergency room uh, twice uh, because I wasn't supplementing properly and I did it for too long. So it's not a, at least for me, it's not a diet I can do uh, for an extended period of time. But yeah, everyone's different. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you know I love pizza. So uh, I'm not going away from that, just taking a break. And I love my vegetables as well. Yeah, Mark, I, I eat very little uh, compared to what I used to eat. I'm not hungry all day, and I'm getting a good amount of fat uh, with the meat. So, you know, just think of like a ribeye, or this has a nice fat cap on it. Um, so, yeah, I eat way less than I used to. I don't have those cravings. Uh, like I would when I was eating a bunch of carbs. So it's worked out for me pretty good. Go ahead and cut into one of these guys. Have a bite. Great flavor with a uh, Old Bay seasoning. It has the texture of a steak, so nice, you know, crust on the outside, still juicy in the middle. If you're cooking these on the on the you know during the week for a quick meal you could probably cook these in less than easily less than 10 minutes i dragged it out a little bit for the live stream with the lower temperature but man this go great rice veggies maybe on a salad Mmm. Love that old bay. Great seasoning. All right, so Mark says, um, my fiance and I cut out anything fried, and in three weeks we've both dropped a pant size or two. Holy cow. I was thinking about meat only, but restrictions like that can be intimidating. Yeah, man. I mean, it sounds like you guys did really well with cutting out the fried foods. You know, no need to go crazy. Most of the weight that I've lost is from exercise. And then when I hit a plateau, uh, after about mm, 90 days... Uh, then I started to tweak my diet, and I've lost another 10 pounds since I started that. But, uh, yeah, this whole YouTube thing, I put on way too much weight, and I just got to get it dialed back in. Uh, Kylie, I'm using my baby brinder bucket with some chicken breasts. Got to get those washed off and grilled up. 
gonna shish kebab some with veggies. That sounds awesome. And those Briner buckets are just awesome. Expensive, but in my opinion, worth it. Yeah, this is delicious. Yum. There's Remy. Mini Schnauzer. Smells the pork chops. Is that good? Good boy. Kylene, I've lost a pant size just giving up sugar. Natural sugar and fruit is okay but all the sweet drinks and sweet tooths, yep. I agree with you on that. So what do you guys think about this grill? Definitely unique. Mine is clean and ready for my turkey in a few weeks. Yeah, me too. I'll be brining mine in the uh, Cosmos uh, turkey brine. Like I do every year. Really look forward to that. So I'm going to eat this last piece of pork chop. Mm. Yum. I'll tell you what, the uh, there's two brines that I really like. Um, oh, and Mark just Mark just called it right there. So Cosmos is my all-time favorite. A lot of times around Thanksgiving it sells out, and when I can't get it, I use Meat Church, which is good as well, but Cosmos is way better. And yeah, Kylene, this is not for everybody. Uh, the Pit Boss is perfect for, for the masses, for the, the people who are looking for convenience. And it's very versatile, that's for sure. Um, this is more for the enthusiast. with a little bit of extra uh, 
discretionary income, I guess. But like I said, this will last longer than I will. Something I can pass down. Hey, Corey, thank you. Uh, it's not very big. So each one of these grates is 14 inches by 14 inches. So 28 inches long, 14 inches deep. It was designed, it's a multi-purpose grill where you can uh, move the grates up and down. But it's named the Yakatori. So obviously one of its design intentions is to put skewers right over top. You would move these grates out of the way. Just put your skewers over top. Works really well for that. Hey Mark, I actually if I'm if I'm going to cut the turkey open there's no need to spatchcock it I just cut it in half and remove the spine and have two pieces but yeah you can definitely do that I actually like doing that if you put the whole turkey in one side is sitting flat and then all those juices come down and the bottom gets kind of soggy if you uh, cut it in half you can flip it over throughout the cook Get some nice even uh, cooking that way. That's what I like to do. If I'm cooking a turkey in my vertical pit boss smoker, I hang it. And uh, that's my favorite way to do it in that smoker. Hey, Corey, this is made by a company called Mill Scale Metalworks. You can check them out. Uh, they do have a YouTube channel. They've got a really nice uh, Facebook page and Instagram. And you'll see some, ah. of, the, some of the superstars like um, Matt Pittman from uh, Meat Church Barbecue. He's uh, partnering up with them quite a bit and giving them some uh, well-deserved recognition. They make a great smoker. Uh, if I could only, if I were to recommend a charcoal grill, it would be the Weber kettle. I don't use one on my channel, uh, but they are, it's probably the best bang for the buck. You can smoke on it. You can grill on it. I decided to get, I got this for me. And I thought it would be interesting uh, for some people uh, for content purposes. But this is definitely not a mass market item. Very few people in the world would have these. So I don't get much of an audience on this. But Kylie, still want to go to competition again. So good, so fun. Yeah. I've never done a competition, but maybe someday. Uh, Mark, specifically for turkey, again, uh, charcoal, like if you really want to smoke and not grill, the Weber Smoky Mountain, Weber Smoky Mountain is definitely at the top of my list, or a drum smoker, uh, I have a gateway drum smoker, but there's other manufacturers out there, the only thing I'll say about the drum smokers, they really do well at 275 degrees Fahrenheit to 300 degrees. That's their natural operating temperature. Uh, of course, you could get it really dialed in, you know, down to 225 or 250, but they're really meant for hot and fast. So keep that in mind if you get a drum. Uh, that Weber Smoky Mountain, 
You can do 225 in there. It, it'll handle it. But of course, at the lower smoking temperatures, you know, if uh, crispy skin on the turkey is important to you, you're not going to get it at those temperatures. So you either crank up the heat at the end, or you can get a blowtorch, or you can put it in the oven, you know, with the broiler on uh, to crisp it up. But, but I think, yeah, Weber Smoky Mountain is probably the best bang for the buck for a charcoal smoker. All right, well, hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, my videos will start picking up here probably again towards the end of the year. I've been traveling uh, a lot for work, uh, so I haven't had time. Plus, I've been on this diet. I'm trying to lose weight. So uh, look for the videos to pick back up. I'm doing some uh, YouTube shorts. I'll be doing some live streams, and then I'll get back to the uh, full-length videos here pretty soon. So, hey, I appreciate you all. Have a great night, and uh, thank you so much for your support.